summary statement on restructuring on presidential insensitive Pandel CLF. Pan Niger Delta Forum P A N D E F and Center for Liberty CLF on Sunday described President Mohamed Buhari's attack on those calling for restructuring as unpresidential and insensitive to the yearning for a better Nigeria. The positions of both groups were contained in the statement separately issued and made available to Tribune Online. Pandev National Publicity Secretary Honorable Ken Robinson argued that the president's statement indicted not only his party, the All Progressive Congress APC, but himself as well. It, it speaks to the fact that they are either dishonest or in, in, incoherent and confused. On his part, co, on his part, co governor of Ayiro of, of Ario Dare at Atoyebi, who called for caution against anti people's policies that are capable of fueling crises across the country. He said President Buhari and his representative at the event where this unpresidential statement was made are actually the ignorant in chief of the Federation because they have consistently and mischievously manipulated history, facts, and knowledge. Isn't it the deceptive that the president and his and, and his enforcers who want to who want to resusc resuscitate grazing root for cows that existed when Nigeria was operating a restructure system are the same people opposing the demand for restructuring? At this juncture, Nigerians should not waste their time, dignity, this or presidential remark with a response, but we should learn to tag General Mohamed Buhari as outgoing president and, and commence the process of finding, supporting, and electing a president who believes in restructuring and the, the supremacy of human beings over cows, Atayubi, Atoyebi noted. While frowning at President Buhari's position, Pandev National Publicity Secretary underscored the need to address the loopsidedness in the allocation of resources with a view to ensuring justice and equity. He said, how could a president whose party constituted a committee on restructuring that was shared by one of his, convent, of, of, one of his governor, Malam Nasir Erufai of Cardinal State, make such comments? The governor Erufai committee concluded its, as, its, its assignment and submitted a report to the party of which the president is the supposed leader over two years ago. That the president could make such statement, though uh, through a representative at the launch of a peace foundation in Zaria, Cardinal State, reflects the score of the nation's problem at this time that he could threaten war and the destruction of livelihoods of Nigerians shows that this presidency is insensitive, callous, and doesn't care about the unity and future of Nigeria. Mr. President did not talk about how to deal with the banditry and increasing kidnapped of school children in Kaduna and other states in the Northwest Rather, he, 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 rem, he reminded citizens of the nation's military might, or military might, might which he has been unable to deploy against the, 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 the terrorists, bandits, and criminals, making life unbearable for the citizens, and and undermining the the nation's the, territorial integrity. 
no responsible government anywhere in the world will make or sanction such a uh, 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 statement against its citizens. We are undoubtedly under a grossly blanked leadership, sadly to the detriment of the security and welfare of citizens. And the so-called Executive Secretary of the Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Physical Commissions, RMAFC, Mr. Shehu Mohammed Bello, could afford to voice the Prato remarks on behalf of Mr. President because he is aware of their crook agenda to perpetuate the sub subju subjugation and gross injustice against the rest of the country. A situation whereby every strategic executive position in the nation's public sector has to be occupied by a northern, of which the, 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 the said Mr. Shehu Mohammed Bello is a prime beneficiary. They are against restructuring because they are benefiting from the flawed military imposed 1999 constitution. Every month, the 19th Northern State receives a minimum of seven, a min minimum of 57% of 100% of oil revenue, to which they contribute 0%. Why the South South, which contributes 87%, receive less than 20% out of Nigeria's uh, 774 local government area? The uh, area. The 19 northern states have 119 local government area, while the 17 southern states have 357 local government area. Every month, the 119 local government area of the 19 northern states, which with insignificant uh, contribution, receive 54.9% of revenue available to local government area in the country. Why the 357 local government areas of the 17 southern states receive 45.1% of what they contribute, almost 100%. Meanwhile, they restrict the gold and other minerals in the north to themselves and launder the oil and gas in the Niger Delta with their cronies. That is the Nigeria they want to be sustained. We are saying enough of that. They can easily refer Nigerians to the National Assembly and fantasize about the due process because they know the, 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 the membership of the, of the National Assembly is also like everything else in Nigeria, killed and look-sided in their favor. Out of the total number of 360 members of the House of Representatives, the South has 169, while the North has 191. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you look at Nigeria so much, there are lots of shitting. The reason why the Northern Land does not want restructuring in Nigeria, because they are benefiting from the uh, this present administration. Now, look at this. We want to bring something out. Uh, and what we want to bring out here, we want the Nigerians and even the international community to understand. Mr. Buari is objecting not to restructure Nigeria because every month the 19 northern states receive a minimum of 57% of 100% of oil revenue, to which they contribute 0%. Do you understand that? Meanwhile, the South-South, which contribute 87%, uh, receive less than 20% oil of Nigeria's, oils of Nigeria's, I mean, 20% uh, out of Nigerians, 70, 700, 774 local government areas areas. The 19 northern states have 419 local government area. Why the 17 southern states have 357 local government areas? You see the, the, the shooting. 
Now, at this point, I want to speak that in as much as we have 36 states of Nigeria, if as uh, Kaduna state or Kano state have the highest number of local government, let every state have, let every state have the same numbers of local government area. That is where cheating will not occur. Now, consign the oil in Niger Delta. If from this news, you will discover that it was the northern people that are receiving the highest amount of revenue and they contributed 0%. And the, the South South, who are contributing the 100% to all these things, receive less. Do you understand? Is that not cheating? So uh, we understand why the northerners are.